It's May 20th. It's break time in between classes. Oh, it's Hiragi. She's just wandering the hallways by herself as per usual. Yo, wanna go to the vending machine with me? Huh? Uh, hey! Clearly seeing me made her nervous. Maybe I should man up and confess already. Yeah, let's confess. Alrighty. I'm a man, and that's why I've been trying so hard all this spring. I'll head back to the classroom and think about how I'm gonna do this. From that moment onward, Hiragi's expression doesn't leave my mind. Tomorrow is the day. The 30th of June is finally upon us. I've decided to do my confession on that day if I'm gonna do it. I'm pretty confident that I've been hitting it off nice with Hiragi lately. But if I wanna take things further, I'll need to work up the courage and confess. Okay, I'm gonna call her and set up a date. Honest to God, this might be the first time I've called her. How funny would it be if she didn't pick up? A brief moment elapses. Hi. Ah, Hiragi? It's me, Aoba. For some reason, she's delving further and further into panic. I guess I was the last person she expected to hear when she picked up. I mean, I can see why. It's pretty late and I called her totally out of the blue. Haha, <laughs> she's so flustered. Just hearing her voice was enough to blow away all the nerves I had. <laughs> you okay there? I could hear your mom. Right, actually, I was wondering if you'd like to go on a date tomorrow. I know you might have practiced, but I figured I'd go ahead and ask. So, uh, are you free tomorrow? Yeah, that's why I'm asking you out. I can do any time, so whenever you're free is fine. Hmm, good point. Wow, I'm such a colossal dumbass. My mind's been so preoccupied with the asking part that I didn't even think of what to do beyond that. Er, uh, er, um, well, is there anywhere that you'd want to go? It's a special occasion, so I'm willing to go wherever you want. Yeah, I don't blame you. And I'm the fuckwit here for not even thinking of any places beforehand. I, I gotta think up somewhere to go, and pronto. I do some quick searching on my laptop, which is right next to me. The arcade. Wait, no, that's where I'd wanna go. Hiragi might say no. A movie? Sounds too risky. I don't know what movies she likes. Fuck, maybe I should hang up and call her again once I find something. Uh, yeah, of course. 
So, you're saying you will go? Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I was just so happy I couldn't help it. Hearing her say she'd skip practice for me did it. I mean, I was doing this on a, like, night before notice. How couldn't I be happy? Hmm, how about in front of the station at 2 p.m.? We probably don't want to do too early. We'd be exhausted by the time we are done. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Right, so tomorrow at 2. They'll give me enough time to get myself prepared so I can knock this confession out of the park. Right then, it's late, so I'm gonna hang up now. Sorry for calling you so late at night. Hmm, amazing as in. Y yeah. She hung up on me. Kinda wish I could have got the chance to say goodnight back. But hey, the date is a go for tomorrow. That's good. She told me not to be late too, so maybe she's actually looking forward to this? That's an interesting thought. The edges of my mouth contort into a small smile. Nighty night. The next day. I arrive at our meeting place slightly ahead of time. I got my phone fully charged and I withdrew some money from the bank. I am ready. Additionally, I spent lots of time perfecting my appearance. I brushed my teeth a whole seven times. My gums were bloody as hell by the end of it, but hey, better safe than sorry. Today it is do or die for me. It's my very first confession. Ugh, is she here yet or nah? The time is 1.45 p.m. There's still time before the time we agreed upon. I mean, I was the only one and I'm not gonna mind if she's late or anything. Man, there are so many couples out today. There are always two places in town that are guaranteed to be packed with couples and families on weekends. Here and Main Street. The fact that I'm meeting a girl from my class here really makes me feel proud. I've come a long way since the beginning of spring. Five more minutes. Ah, oh, can she come any faster? Hmm? I spot a girl and two guys sitting on her over by the vending machine. Oho, she's one hell of a looker. I'm not a dirty sleazebag like those fuckers, but I still get the urge to go say hey or something. That is undeniably Hilagi. Shit, dude, I already failed. How the fuck can I not make out my crush at a glance? Alright, that's enough, ladies. Sorry, fellas, I'm her friend. The two overly stereotypical scumbags head toward the station. 
technically, I did similar things once upon a time, but I knew when to take an L, unlike those douches. Phew, that was a shock. If I was even a second or two later, you would have sent those poor guys to the hospital. <laughs> oh, nothing. I found myself captivated by her for a good second. The way she's slightly embarrassed is cute, and her outfit this time is a whole lot cuter than the last one I remember her wearing. I see you dressed up for today's date. You look even cuter than normal. Thanks for that, Hiragi. <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't? Then who would you do it for? What's his name? You're dressing up for some other guy? Haha, <laughs> 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 sorry, my bad. Just a habit. <sighs> but thank you, I do appreciate it. I'm gonna go on a date with such a cute girl. Shit, my excitement's like 20% higher than usual. <laughs> That's fine, all you gotta do is get as pumped as I am. Today is a special occasion, so don't you think we should have some fun? <coughs> Hiragi turns away, in very evident embarrassment. I know I said 20%, but I'm positive my heart is racing much faster than that. Words can't express how happy I am that I get to go out with Hiragi today. Okay, next up we got the cinema. They got this animal documentary on I figured you'd like. <laughs> you betcha. I spent the whole of last night coming up with a schedule for today. Our first stop was at a restaurant on Main Street for a light lunch. After that we went to the mall in front of the station and did some shopping. Doing anything out of the usual would probably just make things awkward for the both of us, so I went with mostly small stuff, so we could enjoy our day together more. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you just love anything that's cute and cuddly, don't you? By now, nerves are the last thing on our minds. We're enjoying our day to the fullest. Oh yeah, dogs can show a lot of emotion on their faces. そうそう。うちの子なんて犬のくせに人間みたいにため息つくんだよ。シャンプーするの嫌いだから無理にお風呂に入れようとすると… また… Ah, nothing. I've lost track of how many times this has happened. I was captivated by that smile on her face again. For my first date ever, I have to say, this is going insanely well. Luck must be on my side today, because I've managed to keep my heart rate pretty low all throughout. <laughs> Sorry, I was just captivated by you, Hiragi. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You're just too cute. <laughs> Time-wise, we're heading into the final stretch for today's date. It's the perfect time to tell her. Hey, Hiragi. Joking aside, there's something I wanted to tell you today. It's a little on the serious side. That okay? It's crazy to think, but I managed to go throughout today without ever letting my nerves get the best of me. That's why I'm confident I'll be able to get through this too. Well, I guess that's more of a wish than a prediction. Th 
Hiragi, I want to tell you something. I like you. Want me to say it again? I'm willing to say it as many times as it takes. I like you, Hiragi. So, will you go out with me? I hate to say it, but I think I'm just as stupid as I was yesterday. I am serious though. Even I'm not dumb enough to confess to a girl I don't actually like. I'm sorry, Hiragi, but I've fallen for you. There's no going back. Okay, I'll tell you everything, one at a time. First of all, I like your face. Oh yeah, you may not realize this, but you're cute. Really cute. And I'm not just saying that. When I saw you in the park that day, that was the first thought that entered my mind. You were playing with your dog smiling. That was when my heart first skipped a beat because of you. After that, well, a lot of things happened between you and me, we'll just say. But even still, I've always thought your smile was just amazing. It's so adorable that every time I see it, I want to make you smile again. I want to make you even happier, just so I'll be able to see that cute smile of yours more. <sighs> Next is, right, how much I enjoy being with you. I just feel so relaxed, so natural when I'm with you. I like our constant bickering at school. I like pushing your buttons just to see how you'll react. Whether you are smiling or you're angry, whatever, I like you. That's why I can say, without hesitation, that I'm crazy for you, Hiragi. And that's just the beginning, though I guess some don't really count as qualities. Like, for instance, I want to know more about you. You probably don't realize this yourself, but I can never get you to say my name when we are talking. I also like how sometimes your emotions get the better of you and you suddenly start acting really girly like you are now. <laughs> you may think you're awful, but to me, you're anything but that. True enough, I won't deny my first impression of you was kinda not good. But after all the months I spent hanging out with you, I got to know who you truly are. Heck, if I was with such an awful person, do you think I'd be smiling like I am right now? <laughs> so yeah, I apologize, but I'm completely head over heels for you, Hiragi Yuzuyu. 
when it gets to this point, a guy's gotta do what a guy's gotta do. I decided to put my pansy ways behind me. That's why I decided to confess to you. So, I have but one humble request for you, Hiragi Yuzuyu. If you have no reason to reject me, then please, allow me to be your boyfriend. Yeah. I guarantee. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Dang. I'm so happy, I'm straight up shaking. So, this makes us an official couple now, right, Hiragi? Excuse me, but are you really my girlfriend? Are you Hiragi Yuzuyu, the girl that loves me? <laughs> that was so cute! Boy, oh boy! Hey, what's the big deal? I'm just telling the truth here. <laughs> oh, so does this mean I can call you Yuzuyu now? Yuzuyu, Yuzuyu. So, could you use my first name too from now on? Please? Pretty please with a cherry on top? It's Kyosuke, in case you forgot. Kyosuke! Kyosuke. What? You're gonna have to repeat that. I couldn't hear you. Kyosuke! Skida! Baga! It's official now, Hiragi and I are dating. I'm so happy, so indescribably ecstatic that I could run around on this energy for hours. But it is late, so I should take Hiragi on home. Thanks a bunch, Yuzuyu. I had a blast today. Yep, you are my girlfriend now, Yuzuyu. Haha, <laughs> so do you though. After a glance at the clock, it hits me that Hiragi's. Ahem! Yuzuyu's parents must be very sick. Yeah, it kinda sucks, but we probably have to go home now. If I keep you out any longer, your parents are gonna be out searching for you. I know we'll see each other at school, but part of me is still reluctant to part. Haha! <laughs> Man, if I'm already feeling like this, only God knows how bad it'll be in a month's time. Alright, good night, Yuzuyu. Go home and get some rest. Yep, bye, Yuzuyu. June 30th. Today marked the first confession of my life. Needless to say, it worked out great. All was good and well. 
Hearing Yuzu you say she liked me just made me so happy I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep tonight. Yet, oddly enough, I want tomorrow to come all the more, so I can see her again. Thus I hurry home, reliving the moment of my confession over and over inside my mind. Oh! One message received from Hiragi. My new girlfriend has already sent me a text. Sorry, yeah, it's fine if you're sleeping, but I just had to text you. I I think I've been aware of how I feel ever since that time I came to your house. I'm really glad that my first crush was you. Good night. Shit, I better save this text so I don't accidentally delete it or something. I send a good night text without any delay. This girlfriend of mine is a lot shyer than most, and it doesn't take much at all to embarrass her. I want to be able to read her messages over and over. Good night, Yuzu Yu. I create a new Yuzu Yu folder on my inbox for all of her texts, then head to sleep for tonight. Fudaraba.